Hey, I'm Donald Bell, and here's a quick tip for adding your own videos to Amazon's Kindle Fire tablet. First off, to save yourself some headaches, make sure the video you're trying to transfer is in a compatible MP4 format. My rule of thumb on this is that if you can load it and play it on an iPhone, an iPod Touch, or an iPad, then it should work here. If your file is in a different format, like WMV, AVI, or DivX, go grab any video converter software that promises to output an iPhone-compatible file, and you should be all set. Next, connect the Kindle Fire to your computer using a micro USB cable. Now, Amazon doesn't include one in the box, so you may need to go out and buy one, but they're pretty easy to come by, and you may already have one for your smartphone. You should see the Fire pop up as a drive on your Mac or PC. Locate the video subfolder and drag and drop your video files here. Next, press disconnect and give the tablet a minute to collect itself. Now, here's the part that throws most people. Logically, you would think to look in the video menu to find your content, but Amazon reserves this space just for the purchased or rented videos you get from them. To find your videos, go into your apps and locate the Gallery app. Now, this is an app that's common to almost every Android-based device, and it's there to show off your photos and videos. You open it up, and your video should be there. If this is something you plan on doing a lot, you can save yourself a step by tapping and holding the Gallery app on the main carousel and adding a shortcut to your home screen favorites. So that's how to transfer and play your own videos on the Amazon Kindle Fire. For CNET.com, I'm Donald Bell. Hey folks, Brian Cooley from CNET.com. Now when we check the performance of a piece of tech, we check the performance of a piece of tech. If you love videos of cars and all their high tech and high performance glory, check out the CNET CarTech video podcast, CNET.com slash CarTech TV.